everyone, once again, this is The Professor with another commentary for all you wonderful people. I just ripped off Youngblood Fantasy 91 again, didn't I? Whatever, moving on. Let me say, I love my subscribers to death. And by that, I mean I could kill some of you. Especially those Sock Puppet accounts who are subscribed to me for whatever fucking reason right now. Some of you really give me good material to work with. Take, for example, Sasputid22. He is kind of a goldmine, if you will. But before we begin, hey, somber guy, um, I'm going to borrow Twilight Sparkle for a little while. What? Why? Yeah, for comedic effect, what else? Fuck no, I won't let you. I refuse to let you borrow her. Yeah, too bad, I'm going to do it anyway. You are an asshole. Do you realize this? Yes, I do. Now go do whatever it is that you bronies do on a Thursday night. Let's begin, shall we? Okay, it's been nine months since I've made an Angry German Kid video, and people have been getting extremely impatient. They're constantly attacking me so I can make more Angry German Kid videos, and I had no choice but to decline. And yet, they're still attacking me. I can't even take it anymore! But there's a solution! Ignore the guys! Simple as that. I'm sorry, I couldn't hear you over the music and your poor speech. Your video's not gonna be this way the whole time, will it? God, I hope not. You do realize that a colon is meant to precede another statement or a list of items? Poor use of grammar and an exceptionally boring intro. The dream is complete! Gotta come to a couple of videos because I'm very bored. What do you expect? But all those fucking people on the internet, on YouTube.com, you know, say bronies, blah blah blah. They're gay. They're fags. They're at least 20, 30 years old and they watch My Little Pony. What? What? You watch My Little Pony? You're like 20, 30 years old. What? So, do you think all of us bronies are gay and fags? Huh? What do you think, Rainbow Dash? No, no, don't even think about it. You're kind of like too funny when you're still making commentary or something. I mean, it's like you're too late just to laugh. Also, your webcam microphone sounds like shit. Well, isn't that just super? You compared him to an out-of-date commentator. Fantastic. I can say something for this guy, though. At least I can understand what he is saying without a translator experienced in slurred mumblekin. Unlike, well, I don't know, you. Rainbow Death said, loud and clear. Um, she only laughed. He didn't say anything, just laughed. And for your amazing, and for your information, kid. I fucked the ponies because my girlfriend just dumped me by watching ponies. Wait, let's just break that sentence down real quick. I fucked a pony. Well, that's an obvious brony joke if I've ever heard one. Because my girlfriend broke up with me by watching ponies. So, his girlfriend broke up with him by watching My Little Pony? How does this process even work? Nah, just kidding. Have you ever seen one episode of My Little Pony Friendship is Magic? If you haven't, don't judge on it. Wait, let me repeat that clip. But all those fucking people on the internet, on YouTube.com, you know, say bronies, blah blah blah, they're gay, they're fags. They're at least 20, 30 years old and they watch My Little Pony. What? What? You watch My Little Pony, you're like 20, 30 years old. What? He didn't say anything that he didn't watch an episode of My Little Pony Friendship is Magic. He only said that bronies are just fat adults. Fat the ponies or something. Well, that was all well and good, though it doesn't disprove him at all or prove anything whatsoever. He asked if this kid has ever watched an episode of My Little Pony. He never stated that the kid has or that he even has the thought in his mind that the kid has. I know it is hard for normal people to understand what you're saying, but is it that hard for you to comprehend what we're saying as well? Okay. Another thing, kids like you have no respect at all on people's opinion. Oh, another thing, stop using the word Gay! What's the problem with saying gay? It's not like it's being over you. Never mind. Is this a normal thing with you, making pointless and completely unfunny statements that are also highly unintelligent as well? Okay. 
It's not cool when you say it. Gonna end the video right there because do I have to continue on? Okay, it's some guy that I never heard of. Commentary on Smuggy Carries on, commentary on Until Cross, commentary on Sailor Moon's the best one. <coughs> Sorry, I have to do this. So that would make this a six degree commentary, and it involves this guy. Fuck! <laughs> no! Fuck! God damn it! Okay, okay, wait, wait, okay. Thank God for Sony Vegas. Oh, good job of not totally stereotyping us all like that. And the replacement song is just not funny at all. Not as does your voice in your avatar. I mean, seriously, why do people always use ponies as their avatar for commentaries? I'll just change my super instead. What does it matter who or what anyone uses as an avatar for commentaries? If they want to use a pony, then let them. At least they're trying to do something that makes a little sense. I use Dr. Stein, well, normally, as an avatar because he fits my personality. Youngblood uses Hobbs for, as far as I can understand, the same reason. Heartless09 changes his avatars constantly. Mskull01 uses a black fucking screen and on an occasion a tomato. And Realmores, well, he uses a gay person. We all have reasons why we use our avatars. Why should you or anyone else fucking care? After all, you're the one using a pixelized car as your avatar. At least a pony would have been halfway intelligent and interesting. Just like others have said, yet he's still here. However, you didn't know that at the time, but still, a bit more research would have helped. Wait, I thought I was watching a commentary on Smugly Carries On, not a commentary on Silk Cross. And you bring that up, why? Four words for you. Slow the fuck down. This scene Wait, I thought I was watching a commentary on Smugly Carries On, not a commentary on Silk Cross. Was like watching the Micro Machines guy, but not entertaining in the least bit. Though from what I could understand, he was trying to tell Unsil Cross that this was a pointless commentary on a dead subject. So you have issues with people bringing up valid points now? Who am I talking about? Well, I'm talking about Sailor Moon Red 1. AKA Sailor Moon is the best. AKA this drags on a bit, don't you think? But we cows. must press on. on. Not gonna repeat myself. I will! What the fuck is wrong with him making valid points? As if anyone needs it to tell what you see from some bronies already. See, Cross and Smugleaf? This is why you shouldn't use these in your commentaries. They make your videos less credible. Hey, hey, look, he's trying to be like Rarity. You make me sick. Wah! He's emulating the character he chose to represent himself with as an avatar. <laughs> I would like to see you try that. It'd be very interesting. Honk, honk. Valid point. Obvious flaws, obvious. You stated this earlier on in the video when Cross was making his joke. Also, Cross, you're dragging this on longer than needed, so now I have to... I don't understand one word that you said. Besides, not even dragging his point or something. Jeez. <laughs> and this is coming from the guy who sounds like Arnold Schwarzenegger if you mixed him with Sylvester Stallone, then kicked him in the balls, gagged him, and then told him to recite the Declaration of Fucking Independence. I love it when idiots can't recognize their own stupidity. P please listen. Oh, and um, Smugleaf? Love the use of text just to get a cheap joke off cross. Processing. How's he making a joke? Just say that Dwayne's not even going to let non seal cross. Wait, 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 wait. Didn't you bitch eh, the guy using Rarity earlier for pointing this out? I think someone is being very IGN today. ...video, even though I don't really give two shits. Why did you do this in the first place, then? <sighs> Why you know keep on topic? Yeah, hey, hey, yet another time for you to bash someone for making a valid point by saying something that is entirely unnecessary, made no sense, and provided absolutely no fucking humor whatsoever. Thank you. Very good points from both of them. Too bad they didn't study into this more. Does studying even matter? I mean, okay. even if I, I study, it's you know, still yeah. shit. I will refute the first part, seeing as the second part was, well, SURPRISE! Fucking inaudible. If they would have researched, they could have made better points. It is called understanding what you're fucking talking about. If studying didn't matter, 
then why don't you stop studying for any test you're ever given? See how far that gets you. So anyway, Sailor Jupiter says, it's sickening. It just boggles the mind how a video that you're putting into an appropriate file, a video that there's nothing wrong with it, hasn't been flagged for violating community guidelines or terms of use or terms of service or copyright or trademark, this video is not even on the website yet. You couldn't have done this earlier? No, because it doesn't give a shit what you're saying. Oh, say, oh, Jupiter said, YouTube, okay? I understand that's gonna happen from time to time. But jeez, every day. Refer to what I said earlier about your internet speed being very shitty. Thanks and have a nice day. I'll just sigh for the both of you. <sighs> well, I didn't catch that. I mean, come on, you're even worse than me. Ah, uh, no, wait, that's just too fucking easy. Guilty! Party of two! I'll even go tell Stephen the Masters to get it ready for you both. Let me get this right. You're against both on Zero Cross and Smiley Carries On? Sounds good to me. Holy crap, he has issues with each person's commentary! This has never happened before! Zombie apocalypse! Zombie apocalypse! This is a bog hunt, man! Game over! You are fucking stupid, you know that, right? Today's life lesson is to assume, even when you don't let the other person state their view. Why show the other person's thoughts anyways? Cause you know, you're right and they're wrong. Jesus Christ, do you have a speech impediment or something? You're even worse than Sumber Guy. What? What? No, no, what? You, no! No, 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 no. You have absolutely no reason or room whatsoever to comment on speech impediments, Mr. I am unable to be under fucking stood. Remember this scene earlier? Wait, I thought I was watching a commentary on Smugly Carries On, not a commentary on Silk Cross. Why don't you go show that to your second grade speech teacher? Wait, they have speech teachers in second grade? Oh fuck, who am I kidding? This guy never finished the second grade. Also, way to try and insult Summer Guy, who was a better commentator than you are. Yeah, yeah, I said it. So sue me. He has gotten better. Well, let me point out all the flaws in your video. You're a hypocrite. Your intro is too long. You should have cut a lot of this rant out if you believed it went nowhere all this time. Jesus Christ, what's with those subliminal messages? Samuji messages? What the fuck are those? Message? Oh, who am I kidding? You're a hypocrite? Uh, I didn't see anything that he contradicted himself. Your intro is too long. Because it doesn't go straight out to the point with his long intro. You should have cut a lot of this rant out if you believed it went nowhere all this time. Isn't this coming from a guy who commented on some of Unsealed Cross's parts? What the fuck does him commenting on Unsealed Cross have to do with the fact that everyone, including yourself, should have done more fucking editing in these? Really now? You have to bring that up again? And I thought this video was already bad enough for Cross's mistakes. And if you say you're trolling, I say nay. Again, he looks like he's trying to be rarity. Another valid point. I'm gonna go ahead and cut it here because no one actually says anything interesting after this. Let me put this very simply. Sass put it in 22. You suck at commentaries. Unsealed Cross. You suck at commentaries! Smugleaf, you're pretty good at times. Guy who was using Rarity, uh, you're better than SASPD22? And Jigglypuff218 is the commentary god, even if he hasn't made a commentary in a fucking eon and spends all of his time sucking Max's cog from what I can tell. The fuck is wrong with me today? Nonetheless, this is the professor, and I bid you all a very fine adieu, not counting this guy. I think I just lost a subscriber.